And we're going door to door lately. We're asking unsuspecting families to show us their ovens. Why? We're exposing a danger that even the most safety minded of us might have overlooked. Lisa Guerrero has some simple gadgets that can help. This kitchen stove became a death trap when it tipped over and killed this two year old boy. It's not breathing at all? No, he's not breathing at all. The stove fell on him. The what fell on him? A stove. The police video shows the distraught mother. Every year, children are injured and killed when ovens tip over. This is a step for a child to get up and see what's going on on the countertop and on the oven. Home safety expert Brett Kaufman showed me how an unsecured oven can easily tip when curious kids climb on it. He made sure these boys, seven and four years old, were never in danger. You see, it's tipping right now. Yep, it's tipping right it. now, so it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to cause this to happen. Using a mannequin, he showed what a stove tip over could look like, potentially crushing the child. So let's just lift gently. That's not all. As the stove tips over, a pot of boiling water can cause further injuries. We can see the child is actually trapped in the in the oven, and you can imagine how serious this would be if the elements were still on. I can only imagine if that pot of water were boiling and that was a real child, this would be a devastating tragedy. We wanted to see how many people have stoves that are potentially dangerous. Let's see if anybody's home. So we conducted surprise inspections in this New Jersey neighborhood. We're doing inspections today to check on your stove safety. Is it okay if our safety expert Brett comes in and we check out your stove? Yeah, sure. Dana is a stay at home mom taking care of her two children, ages four and one. She does everything to make sure her home is safe. But after a quick inspection of the stove. Okay, so this oven has no anti tip device. This is an unsafe condition. It's, yeah. it's kind of a, a, an injury waiting to happen. It's scary. There's a lot of things that you need to do to protect these kids, and this is just one of them I never thought about. It was more of the same in other homes we visited on the same block, stoves that were unsecured and could easily tip over. I'm really, really surprised and shocked. And this neighbor, her stove was not secured either. I'm shocked. I'm just shocked. So what can you do to make sure your stove is safer? First, buy a safety device that prevents your oven door from opening. Then install a simple anti-tip bracket like this. You screw it into the wall, then all you do is slide the back foot right in. Bingo. So this will never happen in your home. New ovens do come with those anti-tip brackets, but if your stove doesn't have one, you can pick one up at any home improvement store. It'll set you back less than 10 bucks.